Broadcasting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, you're listening to the Low Blow MMA Boxing Podcast. What Hernandez, the Low Blow, Southwest Fight News, and USCombatsports.com. Here with UFC lightweight Tim, the Dirty Bird Means. How you doing? Doing good. Um, we're here at uh, Leo's. You were telling me that you used to work, uh, you were a bouncer here, you used to do security here, is that right? Yeah, I used to do security here when it was uh, like the Bandi- Bandito's hideout. Yeah. And, uh, place used to get pretty rowdy. It was a fun place to work. <laughs> what was the craziest thing you ever experienced here? Uh, there was just always a bar fight here yeah. all the time. Every, every night I worked, there was something fun to do. So, Is that when you first started choking people out? Yeah, first time <laughs> choke holds here, yeah. <laughs> um, here coming up, at the end of this week, you're going to be on the UFC on FX card. You're going to be uh, fighting Justin Salas, who just coincidentally was on the same, you debuted on the same card that you did right. here uh, on the Jake Allenberger on um, Diego Sanchez card. Um, how much do you know about the guy? Um, I, I, I know he thinks he's a good boxer, he's a good wrestler, uh, good athlete, likes to grind out fights. Um, I'm gonna get his face, test him, see if he likes to get beat up a little bit. He has a pretty long wing streak, but so do you. I mean, I don't think you have a loss since, you know, is it since 2005? Or you only have one since then? Uh, since uh, 2009, I believe I lost 2009, once. yeah. But since then, yeah, I mean, that was the only loss since 2005, so. Right. I mean, th- tell us what that's like, knowing that you've been on this win streak, but, you know, still going and dedicating yourself to a full training camp. Uh, I don't I don't really look at the win streak. Uh, I have to get in and put in homework every day. Uh, I have to get better. I, I haven't even peaked yet. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, no nine, I fought 19 times. I've one loss in 19 fights, so. Uh, Right now, I just have to stay, stay working hard and make, make people chase me. You're here in Albuquerque at the Fit NHB No Holds Bar Gym. Uh, tell us about the uh, tell, tell us about the gym because it's one of the more popular gyms here in the city. Uh, Fit's fantastic. You know, it, it, it's a fighter environment. You go in there right away. You know, you're going there to work hard to, to chase dreams. So, uh, Fit and HB's really helped mold me to the guy who I am today. You know, uh, my character, everything. So, I owe a lot to Fit and. Uh, if you're in town, if you're in Albuquerque, go check out Fit and HB. We have we have a great staff, great people who are there. So check out Fit and HB, Lomas and Broadway. And it's multiple arts there that you guys practice as well. I mean, yep. you have professional boxers that actually come out of there, a lot of professional mixed martial artists, so it's a pretty diverse crowd there. Tell us about some of your teammates. Uh, we have Donald Sanchez, Frankie Baca, Gerald Lobato, uh, Brenda Gonzalez, she's been injured for a little bit. We have uh, Lafayette Varela. Uh, we have Little B, who's an amateur boxer, who's a standout amateur boxing. Um, we, we have just a great group of people. Joe Blake, you know, awesome people to work with. Matt Priest, uh, John Judy's our coach, Arlene Sanchez, our striking coach, Tom Bond's the head coach there, also at Power MMA. So, you know, it, it, it's an awesome environment to be in. And Tom Bond's, uh, you know, quickly becoming one of the more popular coaches here in the, not just not just the city, but in the entire Southwest, I think. So. Yeah, you know what? I want you to show me a coach that'll get in there with some of the top athletes in the world and bang it out. My, my coach, Tom Vaughn, will. And it, it's very, 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 uh, I don't know, humbling, I guess, that that, that dude will get in there and, and put, put the brakes yeah. on you, you know? Yeah, so you made your UFC debut. Tell us about the moment that you found out that you were going to be with the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Uh, the exact moment yeah. I was eating Oreos, <laughs> and uh, my coach called me and told me I needed to start cutting weight. But uh, it, it was great. It was the call we were waiting for. You know, the hardest part was uh, not telling everybody that uh, that uh, I, I had been signed yet. We had to wait for the UFC to announce it. But I was excited, man. Uh, started running, started getting my weight off, and you know, I thought I had a pretty good debut. I'd rather got the finish, but a win's a win. And but you outbox the heck out of you know Bernardo Mogaes. Uh, was that the plan going in originally? Oh uh, yeah, the plan. Well, the plan going in was not to get taken down by the dude because uh-huh. uh, we have a grappling coach in Arizona named Andre who was teammates with him and said that his grappling was really legit. So I uh, went in with really respecting his ground game. Uh, I heard him with some shots. Uh, I didn't follow him to the ground, but a couple times and. Uh, that's just stay real patient. That, that's really hard to do, especially at that level, staying patient yeah. and fighting. Do you have a message for any of your fans out there? Want them to know to go check you out on UFC on FX? Uh, UFC, uh, I'll, I'll be on the Fuel TV portion prelims. Uh, I want to thank everybody for all the support I've been getting. Uh, if you guys are around, come help me cut some weight. Everybody likes to watch me fight, but come come cut some weight with me, you know? Let's, let's hang out in the sauna together. But uh, I, I just want to thank everybody New Mexico, Arizona, Gilbert, Arizona, my hometown, Moriarty. Thank you guys. It's, been phenomenal. So catch him, you know, at the end of this week. He will be fighting Justin Salas, who is riding an impressive six-wing fight streak. So it should be a pretty good contest. So 
Thank you very much. It's a pleasure Thank to you. meet you, sir. We'll Thank catch you guys later.